on my days obviously this is different for everybody I really had to take some time out of my day to just get myself a little bit put together because if not I wouldn't want to be productive whether that be getting tasks done or even just getting a simple workout in I always like to add a little bit of concealer blush and bronzer and lay my brow hairs down just so that way I will feel a little bit more put together when you look good you feel good and when you feel good you're gonna want to be more productive you're gonna want to get shit done you're gonna want to be on top of your A-game and that's just facts, no printer. Love having a juicy cupid's bow, so as you can see, really accentuate that. That time of the day when I put on my jewelry, you always ask where I get my jewelry. I grew up wearing my jewelry and not taking it off. So whenever I would buy fake jewelry, I was like, why is this shit turning my fucking neck green? I do buy a lot of my jewelry from antique stores, from antique markets. So buy Chrome Hearts, a lot of my jewelry is passed down. For example, these two right here were passed down to me, this gold chain and this stone that I've been wearing. The rings I'm wearing currently have been passed down to me, 777. I always get questions from, it's from shop Juliet Charlotte. The dagger is from Dream of Jopel. I think that's how you say it. Wearing their little gold star earrings. And these were also passed down to me. If you want real silver or real gold jewelry, more or less like an expensive, affordable price, I would suggest going to antique stores, um, antique markets. For silver, look for the 9 to 5, and then for gold, just make sure it's obviously marketed. Ask questions. Girl, you know what I just hate? I just hate spending too much on jewelry that isn't like real gold or real silver, and then have it get ugly in a few weeks or months. I might as well save that money and just spend it on some real silver at like an, an antique store or something. One thing I got back into doing this year is writing in my planner, AKA my bullet journal. I decided to switch up my planner to a bullet journal just because I felt like when I had a planner, sometimes I felt a lot of pressure to write something down whether I had a busy day or not. And with a bullet journal, it kind of gives me the freedom to really map out my, my month however I want to map it out. It gives me the freedom to maybe not write some days. Um, it gives me the freedom to write more or less. So I fell in love with bullet journaling and I have been doing it consistently since the year started. This is essentially how I like to create my calendar month. And I always like to do this the week before the actual month starts or maybe like the day before the month starts. Typically it's on a Sunday though. Um, it's honestly nothing crazy. Like I don't really put too much attention to detail. I just make it cute, easy to read, colorful. I like to color coordinate and I like to add little sections. So here I am making the month of May. I know that we're already almost done with May, but I really wanted to show you guys regardless. By the way, this was not filmed currently this was filmed at the beginning of may um i always like to put a important and extra list at the bottom of my month just to make sure i am prioritizing things that i want to prioritize and then in the extra column i always write some stuff down that maybe i want to potentially try to do for the month of may but can't really prioritize at the moment and then on the other page i like to write down my content as you guys know i am a content creator it is part of my job so i write a list for youtube instagram and tiktok and content that i want to get done for 
those specific social media platforms. And then the next thing I do is I love to look over my emails, um, look at potential sponsorships that I could see myself taking. I look into the brands. Um, sometimes they send me PR, so I will respond to PR emails. Um, and this honestly takes me so long. It takes me about an hour to an hour and a half to two hours sometimes to look through all of my emails because I get so many emails and I still don't even get through looking through them all um but looking through my emails kind of gives me a better idea of what to look forward to for the next few weeks slash months so if you're into fitness like me or if you um like to eat at home like me cleaning your kitchen and getting your kitchen ready and prepped before you start your week is literally so important the most important especially if you have specific physique goals that you're trying to reach and stuff like that if you do not want to eat out if you do not want to skip on a healthy meal if you want to set yourself up for success you have to make sure your kitchen is nice and ready for you to take on your week whether that be stocking up your fridge cleaning your kitchen washing your dishes <laughs> This is not sponsored. They're just gifting me some stuff. Squalane and enzyme sugar body scrub. Sugarcane derived oil to hydrate the body, face, and hair. Wow. Cute. They sent me a candle. And what is this? Aw. Damn, bro. They sent me Chamberlain coffee. Body scrub brush. Towel. I cannot believe they sent me this, bro. Just in swelling and enzyme sugar body scrub. Care is self care. Period. It's like, can we send you some body scrub? And I was like, yeah, but I wasn't expecting all of that. It's so lit. Hand sanitizer right here. Oh. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, dude. I'm telling you, I'm a big fan. I even have their hand sanitizer. I purchased two of these myself because of COVID. Period. If there is one thing I'm going to do on my reset day is clean, girl. Like, don't get me wrong. I can be a very unorganized person sometimes. I can be a little messy. My clothes does get everywhere, but I literally will not go a week without deep cleaning my home at least once out of the week just because if I don't have a clean home, I will not have a clear headspace. And if I want to make sure to be as productive as possible during the week, I have to make sure my home is nice and prepped for me so I don't have any bumps in the road or so I don't have to clean as much during the week while I'm trying to live my life and do stuff and get stuff done. Even if it's just 20 minutes, 30 minutes, at most an hour, take time out of your day, set a timer to clean your home and you'd honestly be so surprised at how much you truly get done in such a short amount Perfect. of time. I like to water my plants, wipe stuff down, sweep. I like to mop, especially my kitchen because girl, oh my God, my kitchen gets used so freaking much and it gets so messy up in there and by no means does this have to be anything crazy it can literally be anything from just organizing your drawers to organizing your closet maybe washing your clothes or getting even your gym clothes ready for the week all of these simple tasks don't seem like a lot but they really help clear up space during the week and it just makes your days go with ease instead of you having to think about these little annoyances that you normally would have to think about. So I encourage you guys to prep, clean, and get yourself nice and organized before your week starts. Hey guys, I just finished getting ready and by getting ready, I literally just changed into another sweater and some sweats. Grocery shopping, I am gonna go to Costco because buying my stuff in bulk is probably the best thing that I can do so that way I can limit the amount of trips that I take to the grocery store. And my eating has been trash since I was in the Bay Area. Haven't been getting in my protein in. Where I come? 
Costco. I even see the sign. cucumber this is new I've never had that a lot of bread so I love eating bread a lot of frozen fruit I always get my frozen fruit at Costco because it's just cheaper there and it just it lasts way longer we got some little snacks hemp seeds beyond burger patties stuff I got. Apples, tomato, carrot, cantaloupe, um, watermelon, tuna, baby tomatoes, mango. I showed you guys this already. Zucchini. can't tell but he's really dirty so we're gonna give him a bath good boy for the day a uh, Gymshark Vital Seamless Long Sleeves just in general you know it's getting warmer out so sometimes I feel like hoodies suffocate me and these are a little bit more breathable Gymshark Adapt I think this is Adapt Camo these shorts then I'm wearing Vans I'm not gonna wear Converse anymore because they really squish my feet especially on leg day and I already have a fucked up Toe. I think at least I think I have a fucked up toe. I don't know yet. I need to go to a foot doctor. The workout snack. I'm having a blessed protein shake. My bag is also from Gymshark. And I'm taking a hoodie, some sweats, my wallet, my headphones. I haven't packed my pre-workout yet. I just recently got this upper lifting belt. So I was debating whether to take this as a pre-workout. This is the new Oxy Shred Hardcore in Cali Cola. I think I might just take the OG go to Oxy Shred Ultra Energy in Kiwi Strawberry. Since these came out, I've been obsessed. This is what I've been using as a pre workout, but I do take Oxy Shred Hardcore as a powder pre workout, or I will take Pride. It was my first time trying Pride a few weeks ago. I really like it because it doesn't make me feel super overwhelmed and it doesn't make me itchy. Same thing with the Oxy Shred Hardcore. Oxy Shred Hardcore is like regular Oxy Shred except just more intense and has more caffeine. So this would be probably the best as a pre-workout, not directly in the morning as soon as you wake up. And then this is just Oxy Shred essentially in a can. I feel like I'm going to like a new school or something. Guys, I have not gone to a gym consistently in 
about two years now fuck it let me try to find a place with an extra room so that way i can set up a little at-home gym which is where i have been working out past almost two years i am so excited to go back to my old gym i'm so excited to go back i'm so excited to start the fucking gym vlogs i'm excited to just really make gains <laughs> Normally, I would plan out my workouts before coming into the gym, but because it's my first time coming to this gym in about two years, I decided to kind of come with an idea in my head of what it is that I want to do, but I'm not opposed to switching it up just because I haven't been here in over two years and I need to kind of check out the vibes, see what the fuck is going down. They just remodeled the gym as well, so they probably moved machines around and stuff like that. Cleaning out the pantry. It's gonna have a glass of wine. Doing my nails is part of my reset routine because when I have my nails done, I feel like the baddest bitch and I'll want to be more productive. I'll want to get shit done. With that being said, this is everything you are going to need. Go ahead and screenshot it if you want because I don't know the names of a lot of these things. I also am not a professional by any means. So take my advice like a grain of salt. I get all of my supplies at the nail supply store and I will have it on the screen as well as linked down below. This right here was my inspo for the nails that I'm going to be doing today. A little green moment. I've been really obsessed with green. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab your tips. I'm doing coffin tips. I love coffin and square. It's my absolute favorite shape. Um, and you're going to want to make sure that each nail fits your finger properly. You don't want them to fit too big or too small because they will pop off sooner rather than later so take your time i've been doing my nails at home for about a year now and i still have to <laughs> make sure that i check every single finger to make sure that i have the right size once you have all of your tips picked out you're gonna want to grab your little nail drill and we're going to file down our nails oh so lightly and honestly i found that using a little nail drill is a lot easier than using a nail file but if you don't have a drill you can obviously use a nail file i think a drill is just easier because it helps you get into the corners easier you're going to want to remove all of the shine from your nails and file them down just very lightly after this you're going to grab your acid free primer and trust girl i have missed this step multiple times and every time i miss this step my nails pop off so quick so make sure you prime your nails nice and primed um, i'm pretty sure it's also just so you can keep them nice and healthy and then you're going to want to drill and file down the inside of each individual nail this is also when the little nail drill comes in handy because it's a little hard to do this with an actual nail file so you're going to want to do this to every single nail remove the shine i think it also just adds more like grip to the nail so it's less likely to pop off I am not even gonna lie, this might be the most difficult part out of this whole process is gluing on the nail. So we are using a gel adhesive and you're gonna wanna add a nice thin layer on the nail and then we're gonna grab the nail, place it on our finger one at a time, make sure there is no bubbles at all, hold the nail under the light until it sticks on. I know it's kind of tedious, but trust, if you do this properly, they will not fall off. As you can see, there are no little air bubbles. There's no little air pockets. So I put them on seamlessly. It did take me a couple tries in the very beginning when I first started doing my own nails. But once you get it down, girl, you got it down. So this is what one hand looks like. Now this is what two hands look like. And then you're going to want to remove the shine on the nails. This might seem like a lot of work. Cause i feel like i'm doing this voiceover and i'm just kind of like damn girl this is low-key kind of a lot of work but trust it is not once you do it a couple times you literally nail it down so quick and you'll do your nails in like 
30 minutes. It takes you about the same time as like going to a salon, maybe less, except you save money and you save yourself the trip going there and back. Unless you got an all, your own like little personal nail tech coming to your house, then go off sis. Once you have removed the shine from both nails, you're gonna wanna go in with a little file and just sharpen up the edges if you want to. I always like to make mine more square, so I just like to file down the top, make it extra square, as you can see. Nice, crisp little lines, little edges, 90 degree angles up in there. And then this is where you can kind of have the freedom to paint them however you want. I was gonna do some sort of tip today, so I went in with a nice nude clear nail polish and did a couple coats of this girl. It took me like four coats. Um, but since this is gel nail polish, since all of this is gel, it, you literally just pop them under the light for 30 seconds and it's like super quick so you don't got to wait for no dry time or anything like that which is really nice and convenient so i did a couple coats of this and then i went in with my colors that i decided to use for the tips which was a green and black i believe um and i really wanted to have a cute little feathered effect on my nails so I went in with a nice little sponge to try to create that like ombre vibe. I honestly just winged it. Low key shook because this was my inspo and this is the nail that I currently am working on. Well, I'm working on this hand right now. Look at how they're coming out. I know this isn't for everybody and I know everyone likes different shit, but this is cute, bitch. I'm not done. I'll show you guys once I'm done. You literally can't tell me nothing when I have my nails done. They came out so good. I'm getting so good at doing these tips, dude. I'm obsessed. Like this ombre, this green, this black, it's so good. It literally matches my clips so well, and I'm so proud. Let me know if you try this out. I really like having flowers in my room. It just brightens up the room, especially because it's so white. So I'm gonna move these over to my room.